the sudden end to our entire universe. Hello everybody, I am Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-1548, The Star, The Hateful. Before I begin, if you're enjoying these narrations, then please consider liking the video and maybe subscribe. With that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome, 056. You have one file pending review. Display file? Yes. Accessing file SCP-1548. Item number 1548. Object class? Keter. Special containment procedures. Foundation satellites Malakabel 1 through 10 will monitor the south pole of the sun for SCP-1548. Under protocol Koyashvur, all Foundation space stations and off-planet bases within the solar system will have the monitoring of the sun as their secondary mission objective. Connections will be maintained with major space agencies under Operation Stygian Iris for enhanced monitoring of the anomaly, with accurate information on the phenomena restricted to specified personnel. As it is not feasible to place limitations on all solar telescopes, it is expected that civilians will observe SCP-1548 on occasion. Foundation personnel embedded in scientific agencies will disseminate misleading information on SCP-1548 and all thaumaturgic symbols that manifest describing them as unusual but natural phenomena. All other information of the anomaly and related symbols is subject to standard Foundation censorship protocols. Description: SCP-1548 is the designation of various anomalous solar phenomena, primarily occurring at the south pole of the Sun. There are three types of known SCP-1548 events. SCP-1548-1 Six equidistant ovular sunspots, approximately 40 kilometers by 15 kilometers in size, appear. The ends of the sunspots converge after 23 hours, often accompanied with the formation of a solar prominence that typically takes the shape of thaumaturgic symbols. A coronal mass ejection will then occur around the sunspots, lasting 11 hours, with the prominence dissipating after 5 hours. SCP-1548-2 Begins similarly to SCP-1548-1, a solar prominence then forms from the side of the sunspots and breaks off from the sun, moving away from it and likely entering interstellar space. The event lasts for two hours. SCP-1548-3, sunspots form thaumaturgical symbols which range in size. This can occur in conjunction with other events or separately. Unlike the previous two phenomena, these sunspots do not commonly manifest in any single area. The first recorded SCP-1548 event was on the 17th of May, 1983, where an SCP-1548-3 event was observed, showing thaumaturgic symbols 2201-V1, refer to Addendum 1. The event was classified as Extra Normal Event 9008 until similar occurrences were observed leading to the classification of SCP-1548. Addendum 1, Thaumaturgical Symbol Identification. The Department of Thaumaturgy has successfully identified and determined the nature of several symbols seen in SCP-1548. Below is a list of the symbols, denoted with V if they are a variation of the symbol. V1 denotes the original or first discovered version of the symbol. TS-2201 V1. Unnamed only seen in SCP-1548. If inscribed on any telescopic device by a person with thaumaturgic abilities, the device will show psionic entities with malicious intent toward the user. After a total of four hours of use, users with psionic abilities will experience symptoms of psychosis. TS-381-V2 Known as Caliphastian Isle among various occultist groups. When affixed or projected onto a material, it will strengthen the material, enhancing its ability to absorb kinetic and electromagnetic energy. Materials may be hidden from sight as well. TS-1817 V7 Known as the Twelve Holy Owls of Serenithium. Origin among humans unknown. When the symbol is affixed to a weapon or object used with intent to harm, any entity killed by the weapon will annihilate the immediate space around it. The size of the annihilation zone is proportional to the size of the entity killed. This annihilation zone has no effect on materials reinforced with TS-381. Of note is 61% of observed thaumaturgic symbols pertain to the anomalous or Tothin mythology and religious beliefs. 
The central aspects of Orthothan mythology are that the universe is the second universe to exist, and that it has been protected from extra-universal invasions by seven guardian deities. Only one of these deities, Rakmulusin, the Holy Fourth, is said to be alive in the present day. TS 1817 originates from Orthothan occultists in the 1800s, and TS 381 has been used by members of the Church of the Second Hytoth, a prominent Orthothan group of interest in avoiding capture by the Foundation. Why this is the case is unclear. Addendum 2 Events of 1548-29 On the 23rd of December 2016, several SCP-1548-1 events occurred in rapid succession. Although interpretations of these symbols is still underway, TS-381 V2, TS-1817 V7, and TS-2201 V1 manifested multiple times during these events. Twenty non-anomalous or Tothan language symbols and phrases for protection formed as well. 47 hours later, five SCP-1548-2 events occurred in the span of two hours. Over the next month, a dense cloud of ionizing radiation began forming around the solar system, surrounding the heliopause. A region surrounding the solar system where solar wind collides with interstellar wind, creating a bubble around the solar system known as the heliosphere. Although initially at largely unnoticeable amounts, the cloud increased in magnitude until no light from outside could enter by 20th January 2017. The origin of the cloud is presumed to be from the sequence of SCP-1548 events, though the combined amount of particles produced was too small to form a structure on this scale. Of note is that Foundation telescopes have noticed thaumaturgic tessellations, or patterns of grids of polygons formed when high amounts of thaumaturgic energy is released, resembling grids of pyramids periodically forming along the cloud. As the night sky is now entirely altered, Foundation censorship protocols cannot be fully executed. The dissemination of incorrect scientific information regarding the solar system entering a dense cloud of cosmic dust is in progress. Scientific information describing the actual nature of the ionizing radiation cloud will be censored as per contingency Galileo II. Addendum 3 Recent Phenomena Following events 1548-29, a high amount of significant anomalous phenomena have occurred. The following is a list of the events, updated as of the 26th of January 2017. Date, December 24th, 2016. Event Description The Falcon Light, a commercial spacecraft made and launched by aerospace company SpaceX, suddenly lost 50% of its mass during its flight to the ISS, causing the death of all crew. Foundation satellites captured video of the event, showing that half of the spacecraft disappeared along the midline jettisoning any crew still inside into the Earth's atmosphere. Radio signals were received soon afterward from beyond the heliopause. Although suspected to originate from the other half of the spacecraft, the decoded signals match no known language. Notes: All launch plans for manned spacecraft have been cancelled, both inside and outside the Foundation. A cover story involving a faulty booster has been disseminated. Date. December 29, 2016 Event Description The International Space Station ceased standard communications and began broadcasting visual and auditory cognitohazards. All subjects exposed to any of the cognitohazards enter a trance state and eventually have their brain vanish. Two hours after, Foundation satellites detect a sharp increase in thaumaturgic particles in orbit, all found to be originating from the Sun. The ISS abruptly changes trajectory to follow a course that will result in re-entry, certain to destroy the entire station in February of 2017. Notes: Classification of the ISS as an anomaly is pending approval. Date: January 2nd, 2017. Event Description SCP-2713 was found to be entirely empty. Most of the interior of the building had been destroyed. Claw marks, Scorched walls and blood strewn across the room indicate sign of a significant struggle. Notes: Reclassification to neutralized is pending approval. Date: January 5th, 2017. Event description: During a political demonstration in front of the Reichstag in Berlin, Germany, a thaumaturgic way leading to an unknown pocket dimension opened near the protesters. 
Koru Archpriest Phara Anteus, Church of the Second Hytoth leader and known person of interest, exited and announced that a shelter had been built. Further information is limited, as all persons in the area promptly entered the Way, including two undercover Foundation agents. The Way closed immediately after. Notes: Censorship of this event is in progress. Date, January 10th, 2017. Event Description An unknown eigenweapon, or an anomalous weapon of mass destruction, was activated during protests at Times Square. A violent explosion destroyed the entirety of Midtown Manhattan, leveling surrounding buildings and severely damaging other nearby areas within a 6-kilometer radius. The death toll is undetermined. A high number of Tartarian entities and demonic possessions have been observed in an 11-kilometer radius around the blast epicenter. Notes: Persons with confirmed connections to the Chaos Insurgency have publicly blamed the events on a global shadow organization. Date: January 19th, 2017. Event description: SCP-179 established contact for a single moment, signing "Defend" before descending below the sun's surface and vanishing. Notes: The frequency of SCP-1548 events has dramatically increased since this event with at least two occurring per day. Date, January 20th, 2017. Event Description The radiation cloud fully obscures the night sky. Global amnesticization under the NUE protocol is enacted by the Foundation and completed at 78% efficiency. Several paramilitary organizations, which includes world governments and anomalous groups, take this opportunity to attempt to further their own personal goals. Notes: Joint Foundation and Global Occult Coalition forces have been assembled to combat these groups. Efforts are ongoing. Date: January 22nd, 2017. Event Description: SCP-2821, following a sudden expansion in size to a diameter of 1.7 kilometers, vanished. The nearby Lunar Area 32 suffered a minimum of 38 casualties and lost 10 anomalies from the expansion enveloping and destroying sections of the facility under the anomaly's different laws of physics. Based on readings from Minkowski's space-time monitors, it is hypothesized that SCP-2821 formed a wormhole leading to another region of the universe. Notes. Misinformation to explain the newly formed hemispherical crater on the lunar surface is being disseminated. Date, January 25th, 2017. Event Description Experimental Foundation devices begin detecting tachyons moving at undetermined, faster-than-light speeds. Analysis found that these are likely a new form of SCP-3417 transmission, though with major deviations from their standard contents. Transmission contents have typically contained mentions of extraterrestrial civilizations and or Tothan mythological stories. This was observed until being abruptly cut off, presumably due to the radiation cloud. Notes: Further information is below. Date, January 30th, 2017. Event description, currently under review. Notes, not available. Transmission 3417-62. Begin log. All Orthothans here. All Orthothans must listen now. Stars lost. Go, the first invasion occurred. The gods were unprepared, never comprehending the fragility of the universe after its creation. Lost. The extra universal abominations invaded and the gods did not die. Their duty in protecting existence. Transmission interference for one minute. Would, would not have won without Orthothans. Lost. The gods defended Orthothans and existence. Orthothans defended the gods and existence. Solar system lost. When united, we are strong. Transmission interference for 25 minutes. 12 stars lost. The worlds must fight. The transmission stops. End log. Joint Foundation and Global Occult Coalition forces have been mobilized for large-scale containment and threat neutralization operations. Cooperation with various governments to assist in cover-ups has begun, though these measures are hindered by the decisions of the Latvian, Estonian, and Georgian government in declassifying documents on anomalous phenomena and Cold War paratech. 
all major containment sites are now under level 5 high security lockdown until further notice. Addendum 4, Experiment 2154-37 On June 12, 1999, it was determined by a unanimous O5 vote to enact a long-term plan to explore beyond the heliopause. Mission objectives were to confirm or deny hypotheses regarding extraterrestrial SCP objects and collect data on anomalous phenomena beyond the heliopause. As such, the Foundation probe Seraph-1 was constructed and successfully launched on May 9, 2000. On January 27, 2017, an SCP-1548-1 event was initiated prior to Seraph-1 reaching the heliopause, forming the thaumaturgic symbols used in predicting the future. Following the SCP-1548-1 event, an SCP-1548-2 event was initiated, then launched. This one, however, deviated significantly from normal trajectories and curved sharply about 100 astronomical units away from the Sun, towards Seraph-1. Seraph-1 crossed the heliosphere two days before contact was lost from the intense radiation inside the solar prominence. All information collected by Seraph-1 is currently under review and pending declassification. End of SCP-1548 file. There are six related files. Access files? Yes. Accessing materials. Displaying file one of six. Record of decision, Overseer Council Action, number 2521, NOC 6. Motion as follows. End Veil Protocol under Contingency Uncloak 3. Six O5 members voted yay, and six voted nay. None abstained, and one's vote is pending. Result, not available. Displaying file 2 of 6. Record of Decision, Overseer Council Action 2522, NOC 7. Motion as follows. Reclassify SCP-1548 as Thaumiel and begin manually inducing SCP-1548 events under Proposal 1548-12. Five O5 members voted yay, five voted nay, two abstained, and one vote pending. Result, not available. Displaying file three of six. Seraph-1 Exploration Transcript. Begin log. Seraph-1 is 100 kilometers away from Heliopause. The entire region appears as a barrier of ionizing radiation, resembling a cloud and glowing a dull orange. Highly complex geometric patterns form on the surface, most 10,000 kilometers across. After an hour, the probe begins passing through heliopause, entering interstellar space, and contact is lost. A connection is periodically re-established over a period of two days though the only meaningful data obtained is a tachyon transmission from SCP-3417. After that period, a stable connection with the probe begins. Many pieces of equipment were disabled by the radiation, though a rear camera continued to be operable. Behind Seraph-1 are masses of high-energy radiation that resemble solar flares, encompassing the entire visible section of the heliosphere as a barrier. Thousands of thaumaturgic symbols are present in these flares, most unidentified. Identified symbols serve to provide various forms of camouflage, the largest being warding sigils used in the Orthothan religion to repel extra-universal entities. At the approximate location where Seraph-1 exited, a large hole is forming, with the flares dissipating at its edges as it expands. Observation by Foundation telescopes spotted a corresponding hole and distorted thomic tessellation patterns at the region of the solar system where Seraph-1 passed the heliosphere. Swarms of entities can be seen in the distance surrounding the heliopause. The bodies of each entity are highly asymmetrical and possess numerous appendages and unknown structures. The only common features are a gray body coloration, segments that erratically flash various colors, and fractal structures. Sizes are estimated to range from 10 kilometers to 10,000 kilometers, though some appear to be significantly larger on unknown scales. Two of these entities, hereafter 1548 Omega-1 and 1548 Omega-2, pass by Seraph-1. 1548 Omega-1 is eel-like in shape, with five arms extending from random sections of its body, along with a mouth made of impossible geometric structures. The end of its body is surrounded by arachnid limbs and frequently flickers into being translucent. 
1548 Omega-2 is an oscillating and contorting tetrahedral object, leaving trails of black rocks that rapidly disintegrate. As the entities near the hole, the warding sigils glow red, causing red shockwaves to appear around each one, significantly slowing their speed. 1548 Omega-2 unfolds its body and releases glowing white orbs, which reach the sigils and expand into spiral patterns. The sigils demanifest and the shockwaves lessen in luminosity. 1548 Omega-1 passes through the hole and accelerates out of Seraph-1's view. High amounts of thaumaturgic particles are detected and the hole is rapidly enveloped by solar flares. Hundreds of concentrated blasts of thaumic energy are shot out of the new flares and pierce through 1548 Omega-2, vaporizing it in seconds. At this point, the January 27, 2017 SCP-1548-2 prominence passes through the heliopause, encountering Seraph-1 an hour later. Contact is permanently lost. End log. Displaying file 4 of 6. Transmission 3417-63. The following transmission was received from SCP-3417. Begin log. Lost. All Neurotothans must unite at- Cannons have been moved into orbit around the planets. The extra-universal invasion lessens. The gods protect us. Or Tothans will survive. Pause in transmission for seven minutes. Rockmulusin is dead. Pause in transmission for one minute. Gods lost. Drifted galaxy lost. Universe is unprotected. Universe is not lost. Ortothans are not lost. Ortothans. The transmission begins displaying a sequence of spiral patterns and an encrypted image, found to show an entity resembling SCP-2821-2 when decrypted. The transmission ends. End log. Afterward. A reclassification of SCP-3417 to neutralized is pending approval. Displaying file 5 of 6. Event 1548-35. Event Summary. On January 30th, 2017, the Foundation orbital vessel SCPS Kirtana was fully outfitted with experimental anomalous weapon and propulsion systems. It was deployed to neutralize 1548 Omega-1, which had destroyed Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects following its entrance into the solar system. The vehicle arrived at 1548 Omega-1's location near Jupiter and engaged with the entity. Communication with the onboard crew was lost after 10 minutes. Footage from Foundation probes showed the vehicle and entity become surrounded by a black substance and vanish. Two hours later, the substance dissipated and the SCPS Kirtana was observed to be rapidly accelerating towards Mars at near light speeds, with an organic mass resembling that of 1548 Omega-1 attached to it. In 30 minutes, the vessel reached the planet and impacted it, creating a crater 400 kilometers in radius, ionizing the atmosphere and turning the surface into a molten mass. An hour later, the surface began to be converted into a black organic mass, which spread about the epicenter of SCP-S Kirtana's impact. At this time, an SCP-1548-2 event, the largest one on record, occurred, and the solar flare reached Mars when half of its surface had been converted. A violent explosion followed, the luminosity of which matched the sun's luminosity when viewed from Earth. The resultant debris is expected to form a second asteroid belt within the next three months. Asteroid impacts with Earth are predicted to increase. As this event occurred 10 hours ago, all related data is still under review. Displaying file 6 of 6. Text file left by 053 on January 28, 2017. Seraph 1 was only able to take a single picture of extrasolar space, and this is it. All that's left of our infinite, ever-expanding universe is these two stars. Our main priority can no longer be secrecy. Attention! The terminal has been idle for four minutes. The terminal will exit in one more minute. Log out. Would you like to vote before logging out? No. Are you sure? Yes. The O5 Council has been notified of your decision. You still have three days to vote. Goodbye, O5-6. Logging off. Shut down. Shutting down. Thank you very much for listening. 
If you enjoyed this entry, then please lend your support by liking and subscribing. I also started streaming some nights on Twitch, so if you feel like dropping by and saying hi, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also, if there are any other SCPs that you would like to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.